Welcome everyone to today's seminar, Transitioning from the 2009 IBC to the 2012 uh, Structural Provisions. We'll be going over chapters 16 through 23, but we'll also be covering a few provisions towards the beginning of the code, more administrative type provisions, and some other details that we hope you will find helpful in your work. Instead of three values of an importance factor, AC 710 has chosen to give us three different maps. So we have three different wind speed maps for wind design in AC 710. The, the, the maps are reproduced in the IBC and in the IBC the numbers are 1609 A, B and C. You, you have to kind of watch it. A is not for occupancy category 1. The A map is for occupancy category 2 buildings, which are now called risk category 2, the standard occupancy. That is the map you will use the most often. The B map is for risk category 3 and 4. Okay. That brings me to the new simplified wind design procedure. The main wind force resisting part is in part 2 of chapter 27 and the component and cladding part is in part 4 of chapter 30 and, and, and we will look at both. So uh, this new simplified procedure applies to enclosed simple dive from buildings mean roof height not exceeding 160 feet. All right, so now we're going to talk a little bit about the new seismic maps. And I think the one, ones that will be of interest mostly to you are the new S sub S and S sub 1 maps, right? Because every project you have to assign your S sub S and S sub 1 values. And uh, whereas we used to call in the 2009 IBC the maximum considered earthquake ground motion response accelerations, S sub S and S sub 1, now we call them the risk targeted maximum considered earthquake ground motion response accelerations and we have a subscript of R. So immediately if there's that subscript of R, you know that we're in the 2012 IBC or greater. four changes have brought us from there to here, from the MCE maps of AC705 to the MCE sub R maps of AC710. Okay. Those four changes are listed in this table, but I want to take the changes one by one, so I, I am not going to spend time on the table itself. Change number one is best described as routine U.S. geological survey business. U.S. geological survey has models for most significant